Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths video. In this video, we're going to look at trigonometry and we're going to look at using trigonometry to find the lengths of one of the sides of the right angle triangle. So if we've got a right angle triangle and we know one of the sides in an angle, how we can use trigonometry to find the length of one of the other sides. Now, before you watch this video, I'd highly recommend you go to corpmaths.com and you watch the introduction to the trigonometry video. And in that video, I go through how to label the sides of a right angle triangle. Also in that video, I go through the trigonometric ratios. And they are the tan of the angle, tan beta, is equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent. The sine of the angle, the sine of beta, is equal to the opposite divided by hypotenuse, and the cos of the angle, or cos beta, is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. Okay, so there are the trig ratios. Now let's have a look and see how we can use these to find the lengths of midst and sides of right angle triangles. So let's have a look at our first example. So here we've got a right angle triangle, and we can see it's a right angle triangle, and we've got an angle of 63 degrees. The length of this side is 7 centimetres, and we want to find the length of this side of the triangle. So because we know we're going to be using trigonometry, because we're using angles and sides of the triangle, a right angle triangle and we want to find the length of one of the sides let's write down our trigonometric ratios our trig ratios so they are tan vita tan vita is equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent the sine vita is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse and the cos vita is equal to the adjacent divided by hypotenuse some people remember Sokatoa, or i like to remember two old angels skipped over heaven carrying a harp so there are trig ratios now let's label the sides of our right angle triangle so we've got our right angle the side opposite the right angle is the largest side of the triangle so that's the hypotenuse so that's the hypotenuse this one then we're going to be using this angle in this question, the 63 degrees. So the side opposite it will be the opposite. So that side's the opposite, the x. And that means the side we've got left, this side down here, is going to be the adjacent. So we've labeled our sides, the hypotenuse, the opposite, and the adjacent. Now in this question, we're going to be considering two of those sides. So we're going to be using the adjacent because that's 7 centimeters. And we want to find the opposite. So we're going to be dealing with the opposite and the adjacent in this question. And we're not going to be using or we're not trying to find the hypotenuse. So let's cross that off. So we're not using the hypotenuse in this question. So now let's go to our trig ratios and cross off any ratio that has the hypotenuse in it. So we're not going to be using sine and we're not going to be using cos, so we're going to be using tan in this question. So let's write that down. The tan of eta, tan theta, is equal to the opposite divided by adjacent. So now we know which trig ratio we're going to be using in this question. Let's substitute in our values. So we've got the tan of the angle, the angle 63 degrees, so the tan of 63 degrees. And I put that in brackets and you'll see why in a second. The tan of 63 degrees in brackets is equal to the opposite. Now in this question, the opposite is x. That's what we're trying to find. So it's going to be x divided by the adjacent. And in this question, the adjacent is 7 centimeters, so divided by 7. So we've got the tan of 63 degrees is equal to x, the side we're trying to find, divided by 7. Now we want to find out what x is. Now this is just like any equation. Whenever you want to find out what x is, you want to find get the x on its own. So we don't want this divided by 7. So if we want to get rid of this divided by 7 on the right hand side of the equation, we're going to multiply both sides by 7. So multiply by 7 and multiply by 7. On the left hand side, we had the tan of 63 and we're going to multiply that by 7. So that's the tan of 63 close brackets multiplied by 7 and the reason that I put the 63 in brackets and it's very important that I do so is that whenever I'm typing this into our calculator if I don't close the brackets around the 63 the calculator thinks I'm doing the tan of 63 multiplied by 7 so it does 63 times 7 which is 441 and does the tan of that so it's very important that you close brackets around the angle and then times 7 and then the right hand side of the equation we had x divided by 7 we're times it by 7 to get rid of the divide by 7 so we'd just be left with x so that's great we know that x is how we're trying to find is tan of 63 multiplied by 7. So let's just type that into our calculator and see what we get. So the tan of 63 close brackets multiplied by 7 is equal to 13.73827 and so on and that's equal to x what we're trying to find and I'm just going to turn this around I'm going to write x is equal to and I'm going to run this to two decimal places so I'm going to write 13.74 because it was 38 centimeters so the length of this side here is equal to 13.74 centimeters to two decimal places and that's it okay let's have a look at our next question okay so our next question we've got our right angle triangle and we've got our right angle we've got the side opposite it is equal to x we've got the length of this side is equal to three centimeters and the size of this angle is 41 degrees and we want to find the length of this side so because we know we're using trigonometry because we're dealing with a right angle triangle we've got some angles and sides involved so we're going to be using trigonometry so let's write down our trig ratios the tan of eta is equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent the sine of eta is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse and the cos of eta is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse so we've got our trig ratios now let's label the sides of our right angle triangle so here's our right angle so the side opposite that the x will be our hypotenuse the largest side of the right angle triangle 
We're going to be using this angle, the 41 degrees, so the side opposite it, the 3 centimeters, will be the opposite, and the side that's left will be the adjacent. So if we label our three sides of the right angle triangle, and in this question we're trying to find the hypotenuse, we've been given the opposite, so we're going to be using the hypotenuse and the opposite, but we're not trying to find, and we've not been given the adjacent, so we can cross that off. So any trig ratio that involves the adjacent, we're going to cross off. So we're not going to be using tan, and we're not going to be using cos. In this question, we're going to be using sine. So let's write that down. The sine of eta, the sine of eta is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. That's great. Now let's substitute our values. The sine of eta, the sine of our angle. So the angle's 41 degrees, so it's going to be the sine of 41 degrees. And I always put that in brackets. The sine of 41 is equal to the opposite. So the opposite is 3 divided by the hypotenuse. And in this question, the hypotenuse is x. So divided by x. So we've just substituted in the values for the angle, the opposite, and the hypotenuse, which are 41 degrees, 3, and x. Now we want to find out what x is. So we want to find the size of this x here. So we want to solve this equation. Now whenever we're solving an equation, we don't tend to want to have the x on the denominator. So we don't want this x on the bottom of this fraction. So let's multiply both sides of the equation by x to begin with. So let's multiply, multiply the left-hand side of the equation by x, and let's multiply the right-hand side of the equation by x. So on the left-hand side of the equation, we had the sine of 41, so let's write that down, the sine of 41 degrees, close brackets, multiplied by x, so multiplied by x is equal to, and on the right-hand side of the equation, we had 3 divided by x, we're multiplying by x to get rid of the divide by x, so we'd just be left with 3. So just to recap that again, we had the sine of 41 is equal to 3 divided by x. We don't want the x on the bottom of the fraction, so we multiply both sides of the equation by x, so we get the sine of 41 times x is equal to 3. Now we want to find out what x is, so we want the x on its own. So because we want the x on its own, we don't want this multiplied by the sine of 41. So let's divide both sides by the sine of 41. So divide the left-hand side by the sine of 41, and divide the right-hand side by the sine of 41. So on our left-hand side of the equation, we had the sine of 41 multiplied by x. We divided by the sine of 41 to get rid of it, so we'd just be left with x. And on the right-hand side of the equation, we had 3 divided by the sine of 41. You could just head down to your calculator and do 3 divided by the sine of 41, or you could write as a fraction 3 over the sine of 41 and see what you get. You can do it either way. You can do 3 over the sine of 41, or you can just do on your calculator 3 divided by the sine of 41. And both of those will give you the answer, and then you'll find that x is equal to, and if we just do our fraction button, 3 over the sine of 41, close brackets, and that's equal to 4.572759926 and so on centimeters. And let's just round that to two decimal places. That'll be x is equal to 4.57 centimeters to two decimal places, to two decimal places. And that's fantastic. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Okay, so our next question, we've been given this right angle triangle. The angle's 52 degrees. We've got the length of one of the sides being 14 centimeters, and the length of this side is x. And we want to find the length of that side of the right angle triangle. So because we're dealing with sides and angles in this question, it's a right angle triangle, we're going to be using trigonometry. So let's write down our trig ratios. The tan of eta is equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent. The sine of eta is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse, and the cos of eta is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. So we've got our trig ratios, now let's label the sides of our right angle triangle. So here's our right angle, so the side opposite it will be the hypotenuse. We're going to be dealing with this angle in this question of 52 degrees, so the side opposite it, the side at the bottom will be the opposite, and that means the side that we've got left will be the adjacent, so that means our side that is labelled x is the adjacent. Now in this question, we've been given the hypotenuse, we're trying to find the adjacent, so we're going to be using the adjacent and the hypotenuse. We're not using, we're not trying to find the opposite, so we can cross that off, or we can cross off tan, we can cross off sine, because we're not going to be using those trig ratios. So in this question, we're going to be using cos, so let's write that down, the cos of the R angle, cos beta, is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. Now, let's substitute our values, the cos of beta, so that's our angle, the cos of 52, the cos of 52 is equal to the adjacent, and the adjacent is x, so that's x, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 14. That's great, we've got an equation, we've got the cos of 52 is equal to x divided by 14. We want to find out what x is, so we want to get rid of this divide by 14, so let's multiply both sides of our equation by 14. So on our left hand side we had the cos of 52, so the cos of 52, and we're multiplying by 14, so we're going to times by 14, and again I'm just being careful to close the brackets around the 52, and then on the right hand side we had x divided by 14, we're multiplying by 14 to get rid of the divide by 14, so we would just be left with x. And that's great, because now if we do the cos of 52 multiplied by 14, we'll find out the length of the side. So let's do that. The cos of 52, close brackets, multiplied by 14, is equal to 
8.619260655 and so on. And that's equal to x. So that means that x, the length of this side, is equal to, x is equal to 8. Point, and let's just round the two decimal places, 62 centimeters, to two decimal places to two decimal places and that's it so that's fantastic so we had a right angle triangle where we were given one of the angles 52 degrees we're given the length of one of the sides 14 centimeters and we've worked out the length of the silver side here would be equal to 8.62 centimeters to two decimal places okay let's have a look at our next question so our next question says calculate the length of the side ac so we want to find the length of ac so let's look at this triangle we want to find the length of ac so that's this length here i'm just going to label it x to begin with so we want to find the length of that side so i'm just going to call it x and we've been asked to calculate the length of that side and we've been given a right angle triangle and we've got the size of this angle we've got the size of this side the a b to be six meters and because it's a right angle triangle and we're dealing with angles and sides we're going to be using trigonometry so let's write down our trig ratios the tan theta is equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent the sine theta is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse and the cos theta is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse so we've got our three trig ratios, now let's label our sides. So there's our right angle, so the side opposite it will be the hypotenuse, so this side here is the hypotenuse. We're using this angle here, the 58 degrees, so the side opposite it will be the opposite. And it means the side that we've got left is the adjacent, so let's label that the adjacent. So we've labeled our sides. Now in this question, we're not going to be using the hypotenuse, we've not been given it, and we're not trying to find it, whereas we will be using the opposite, and we will, we're trying to find the adjacent, so we can cross off the hypotenuse, and we can cross off any trigger ratios that involve the hypotenuse, so that's the sine and the cos. So in this question, we're going to be using tan, so let's write that down, the tan of eta, tan Vita is equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent. Now we know our angle, our 58 degrees. We know the opposite is 6 meters, and we're trying to find the adjacent, and we've labeled that x. So let's substitute those values into our trig ratio. So we've got the tan of eta, so that's our angle, the tan of 58, tan of 58, close brackets, is equal to the opposite, and the opposite is equal to 6, so 6 divided by, and then we've got the adjacent, and the adjacent we've called that x, so we've divided by x. Now if we have a look, x is on the denominator, and we tend not to want to have our x is on the denominator, so let's multiply both sides of the equation by x. So let's multiply the left-hand side by x, and multiply the right-hand side by x. So on the left-hand side, we had the tan of 58, and we're multiplying by x, that's the tan of 58, tan of 58, close brackets, multiplied by x. And on the right-hand side, we had 6 divided by x, we multiply by x to get rid of the divide by x, we'd just be left with 6. That's fantastic, we've got the x off the denominator. Now we wanna get the x on its own, so let's get rid of this multiply by the tan of 58. So let's divide the left-hand side by the tan of 58, and let's divide the right-hand side by the tan of 58. And whenever we do that, on the left-hand side, we had the tan of 58 multiplied by x. We divided by the tan of 58 to get rid of the multiply by the tan of 58, so we'd just be left with x. And on the right-hand side, so we could at this point now just do six divided by the tan of 58 and see what we get, and that's equal to 3.74921611 and so on meters. And that's fantastic because we've now found the length of this side, which is AC. So let's write that down. The AC is equal to, and let's round this to two decimal places. So it'd be 3.7, and we've got four nines. So it's going to round up 3.75 meters to two decimal places, to two decimal places. And that's it. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at how to use trigonometry to find the length of missing sides of right angle triangles. And I really hope you found it useful. And if you have found it useful, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.